I, I just can't believe that somebody can make this. Alexis Sunshine 83, it's always sunny here. Hey Sunshiners, Alexis Sunshine 83 right here. Hello, hello, happy sauna sauna, what is up? Today's video I am so excited for because it has been literally two months in the making and actually there are a couple pieces I even got back in 2020 in preparation for this video, which is a small business haul. Now I did one back in the summer and it was so cool to find unique small businesses doing really awesome stuff. I think it's so important to shop small as much as you can. So I'm really excited to highlight these businesses because the detail that they are putting and their products is just mind blowing. I have some handmade items, vintage items, and I'm just really excited to share it with you guys because I've had to hide these pieces from you for literally like two months and I've been really wanting to share. So yes, let's get into it. All right, I'm gonna show you guys the clothing items first and then we'll go into some more like home decor things. But first, this cardigan. I cannot tell you how happy this cardigan makes me feel. If you guys follow me on Instagram, which is Alex and Shine 83, you already know what it is because I could not help myself. I had to post a photo when it got here and it is this beautiful handmade strawberry cardigan. When I tell you that I have been wanting it for such a long time, like it's just such a long time. And ever since I hand knit my own cardigan, my appreciation for hand knitted items and crocheted items, it just is, I, I just can't believe that somebody can make this. The strawberries? Like my mind was absolutely blown when I first saw it. It is from a company called Miracle Handmade. Now they originally were on Etsy, but I think they're starting to move over to their own website. It is run by two Turkish immigrants living in New York City and they work with 16 women from Turkey. And I believe on every like item that they have, it talks about who actually made that specific item. Now they have a couple different types of like handmade cardigans and sweaters and they just have beautiful stuff. And I got this one in the color bone. Now sizing wise, if you do decide to purchase this one, I would say depending on what you want the fit to be, I wanted it to be like loose, but not too loose because it is cropped. So I ended up going for a size medium. I do wish I would have gone for a size large. It fits me absolutely perfect, but I just wish I would have gone for a little bit more of a looser style, but it is just breathtaking. The craftsmanship on it is again, just mind blowing. And to be honest, I just want to wear it every freaking day. This next item is 100% the prettiest thing I now have in my closet. And it is this beautiful corset. Like, if you have been following me lately, you know I have been super into corsets. This one is actually from a Depop shop called Impatient Clothing. Sorry, the sun decided to come out and so I had to rearrange my lighting and I just started my period, so. Anyway, the owner of Impatient Clothing is a viewer and they DM'd me to ask if I would like a handmade corset by them. Uh, honestly, my mouth dropped because the corsets are so breathtaking and I just felt super honored. They didn't ask me to include it in a video or anything. This is not sponsored, but I was gonna buy one anyway and share it in this video, so I figured it was perfect. And so they made this just beautiful, corset look at this pattern and it's actually reversible so the inside is this red fabric and the fabrics are actually thrifted and i knew it was going to be amazing but when it came in the mail my like breath was taken because even look at this back like look at how beautiful if this is not a like cottage core corset then gosh darn i do not know what is and the owner actually started sewing in march 2020 making face masks for friends and family but became super intrigued by like reworked clothing the whole reason why they started making specifically corsets was to give a new life to clothing to keep it from going to landfills and i just love the passion of the owner to specifically make items that make other people feel good and I am telling you I probably feel the best I ever had wearing this corset. I literally want to frame it. It is a work of art. So I definitely recommend checking out Impatient Clothing on Depop and I don't think I said this but I'm gonna leave all the links to the small businesses that I feature in this video right in the description box. This next item I don't think is necessarily from a small business or at least they were a small business but I feel like now they're kind of more in the mainstream and that is Lisa Says Ga. This specific item I just fell in love with and it is specifically in collaboration with KJP, which is a print designer. It is a vest and I know it's a little bit funky. It's a little bit out there, but I mean, number one, y'all know I love 
green. I, I think I say that in every single video and I also notice in almost every single thumbnail I am wearing something green. It's kind of cropped. I got it in a medium large because I wasn't really sure what kind of fit I wanted but the reason why I got it is because I realized when it comes to sweater vests like I really like them but I much more prefer cropped ones. Like I'm weirdly moving away from like having to tuck things into my pants. This one is a little bit longer just because it is a medium large but it still is cropped compared to other sweater vests that I have. Such a fun spring pattern and I'm really into checkered but I'm not really into black and white checkered so I feel like this green is absolutely perfect. It is an item I've had just like on my mind probably for the past couple weeks and I finally decided to purchase it and just feature in this video because I think they are doing some really cool stuff and have some really fun pieces. This piece I actually got I think in November but it took like almost a month because if you guys remember like December time just with everything going on and like shipping it just it things were taking a little bit you know a little bit long which totally made sense and I ended up getting three headbands from an Etsy shop called Enchanted Alexandra. Now I believe I've talked about her shop before. I get all of my like Disney ears or when I would buy Disney ears to go to Disneyland from throughout the past year she kind of shifted into making handmade masks and then also just handmade headbands and so I got a green and red satin one which you guys have seen in multiple videos but I also got this orange one and I figured it definitely will make a little bit more sense during like October November time but I can still wear it I mean orange I feel like is a very popular color right now it is just the cutest little headband I feel like a freaking present and I know some people absolutely hate the chunky headbands but I'm totally for them especially when I'm having a bad hair day and I'm kind of having a bad hair day today so I should have worn one but anyway I just absolutely love the design of it and it just being this like scrunch fabric and I'm already looking at some other ones I really want to buy moving on to some more home decor items I have this beautiful floral vase from an Etsy shop called no sugar extra cream and it is just the most beautiful thing. I've been really wanting to get more into vintage home decor. And for some reason, it's been really hard for me to get into like finding secondhand online home decor, especially without being like insanely pricey. And this one, I don't remember how much it was. I'm pretty sure it was affordable. This Etsy shop has a bunch of really awesome vintage home decor. And when I saw this, I was specifically looking for like a vase kind of like this, not too big, but like had some like personality. And once I saw this, I was like, heck yes. Now, like many people, I have been sucked in to gosh darn the pastel like funky candlestick. I was gonna try to make my own and then I watched Carrie's vlog about how she tried to make the like swirly candlesticks and how it just like didn't turn out. So I decided to not experience that disappointment and instead support a small business that is creating just amazing ones. And so I ended up getting this swirly like turquoise candlestick. It actually came in a pack of two. So the other one I actually have on my bookshelf right now and it is from a shop called TM Hamilton's and everything on that shop is made to orders and I just I freaking love it It's such a simple item that can just add so much personality to your space And for me, I personally will probably never like them because they're just so beautiful that I just don't want to destroy it and it doesn't smell like anything, which is fine because again, I'm not gonna light it. And talking about candlesticks, I actually purchased this other candlestick from an Etsy shop called O oh Philly. And unfortunately, I can't find the listing anymore. So I don't know if they stopped selling the candlesticks. So I'm glad I was able to share the other one. So it's kind of the same thing. This swirly one is so freaking cool. It's purple. It's such a cute little home decor piece. It's so funky and cool. And again, I will not light it. So it'll just uh, stay in its glory. With this next one again if you follow me on instagram you've already seen it but i have been oh i have realized i have a fascination and love for fake food. If you've ever been to a restaurant that has like plastic food to show you what the item like may look like if you order it, that stuff is my favorite thing. So when I saw this company, like my heart exploded, which is this 
fake cake. I don't know why, but this is one of my favorite things I have ever purchased in my entire life. It's it's just freaking amazing. Like, look at those cherries. Look at that fake frosting. And this is from a small business called Pretty Shitty Cakes. And the Instagram for it is just so satisfying to look at. And basically you order through the Instagram and you get like a menu where you choose from the color to the toppings to the design. You can do a small cake, a big cake, and a large cake. And she actually made Aunt Petunia's pudding cake and it is just so freaking satisfying. How are these not real? Like that is the most mind blowing thing ever. I then have some art prints that I actually ordered in October and I was gonna include it in a video when I like redid my office, but then I ended up never filming that video and moved my office like three different times. So I figured now was the time to finally show it, but I first got this beautiful art print from an Etsy shop called Lovely Mine. It is run by Jasmine Lee, who is based in LA. And this is just an art print from Kiki's Delivery Service, which is definitely my like number one favorite Studio Ghibli movie. And she does a lot of Studio Ghibli like art prints, which I definitely want to get more. And it is just so beautiful. The colors, the detail, I am keeping it in the plastic cause I'm not sure exactly where I'm going to hang it on my wall yet. And I just want to keep it in good condition, but it is just, so beautiful. The whole vibe of her artwork is so dreamy. This next art print I got the same time as I got the other art print and it is this beautiful landscape and this one is from an Etsy shop called You Mean Color. It is run by Rachel Yumi Chun and all of her art prints are very vibrant without being like neon. It's almost just a vibrant like pastel. When I saw this I just felt instantly happy and calm and you can just see the detail in it. I also have kept it in the plastic as well. Still deciding you know where again I'm gonna put it and something I thought was really cool about Rachel is she actually teaches art class to kids in an art studio in Virginia and I just think that was like a cool little fact about her because not only is she making beautiful art prints on Etsy but then she's also teaching kids to be creative and again I definitely want to purchase more and I feel like art prints were one of those things I never really like went out of my way to find artists to buy from I always was like oh I'll get it from like society six or print something out from from Pinterest, but it is so important to support the actual artist. And then the item that you get will actually be obviously better quality than just something you printed off of Pinterest. Alrighty, thank you guys so much for watching. I definitely recommend all the small businesses that I talked about in this video, but also let me know in the comments right down below what small business you absolutely love, or if you have a small business, cause I would love to do like a part three. And yeah, if you guys would like to continue to see my face, then make sure to subscribe right down below and hit that little bell to be notified every time I make a new video. And also don't forget to follow me on Instagram, alexandrian83 to keep up to date with me during the week. I will see you guys on Wednesday with a brand new video. I hope you have a super sunny Sunday. Enjoy life, be happy, and I love you lots. Bye!